Hello, uh, this is a new week, and the latest update on the conflict in Eastern Congo is that M23 rebels, the M23 rebels, could soon take over the city of Goma within a week or two. And that means the Kenyan troops and the East African Community Regional Force could soon be fighting with M23 and the Rwandan forces because obviously we know by now that the M23 are backed or supported by Rwandan troops. That, that is now a fact. And the East African or the Ikra force in Goma, or the ones who are trying to guard the city of Goma, alongside the Congolese army, are the Kenyans, the Kenyan soldiers. And it is said about 900 of them are in that city. So if the M23 is trying to take over that city, then it means we are going to hear or to see fighting between the Kenyans and the M23 or the Kenyans and the Rwandan troops. Now, why am I saying this? There have been new developments. Today, fighting between M23 rebels and the Congolese army resumed very early today, despite call for ceasefire. And what, what happened is that last week, M23 broke the ceasefire and went to this town called Kichanga and fought their way into the town and took it over. So there was this publicity and a lot of videos when they did that. And I made one of them about that time M23 took the town of Kichanga. As expected, the Congolese army, Far DC, swore to take back that town from M23. So they deployed their troops and reinforcements towards that region, the region of Masisi, where that town of Kichanga is located. And from what I heard is that the M23 levels engaged the Congolese army on Thursday and Friday. And then they started over the weekend to outmaneuver and outflank the Congolese army. Today, the M23 rebels are now south of that location because, you know, the Congolese army were moving north towards Masisi from, I think, Goma. And the M23 were in Kichanga. So they outflanked them and went around them. And now the, Congo the M23 are south of that region. The Congolese army are in the north. And the M23 are advancing on the Goma city. And they are supported by another detachment of the M23 rebels that had been left behind in the region of Mount Niragongo or the vicinity of Mount Niragongo. And you recall almost about two, three weeks ago, they had handed over that region of Kibumba and the military camp of Rumangabo, which is within the vicinity of Mount Niragongo. And now it turns out not all of them left. Some of them were still waiting for new orders. And now the new orders are to rejoin the other group that left Kichanga and advance on the Goma city. So you understand what is happening right now. And to confirm those rumors, there was a UN MONUSCO peacekeeping helicopter that was dispatched to the vicinity of Mount Niragongo. And this helicopter was dispatched yesterday on Monday. And once it got there, it got hit. It was attacked using an anti-aircraft gun. You know those guns that we usually see mounted at the back of pickup trucks. So it was shot at. And the pilot of that helicopter was killed instantly. But the co-pilot managed to, you know, fly the helicopter back to the base, back to the Goma city. You can see what is at play here, right? The M23 are outfoxing both the Congolese army, the Far DC, and the ICRAF, which is the East African Community Regional Force, the Kenyans. They lied about withdrawing to basically spread the Kenyan forces around, you know, in a wider area. And that is what they did so that they can have a smaller detachment of the Kenyan forces in Goma to deal with. I don't know whether the Kenyans are going to leave those positions in Rumagambo and the other position of Kibumba and move back to the city of Goma as fast as possible. And if they do not do that, then these M20, M23 rebels are going to take that city easily. And the Congolese army, again, was outplayed here. They were baited and drawn towards Kichanga to create a new front 
and now they have split their earlier positions and the other other front they had around Goma City, and they are spread out wide. So now the M23 has cut and went around them, and they are advancing on the Goma City. That is a tactic that the the M23 or the Rwandan army is using to take that city. And it's a very smart one. And the other thing I think the Congolese and the Kenyans have never managed to know how to use is surveillance. Surveillance drones, not planes, because that is old technology. Planes make no noise. So they do not have surveillance drones to keep checking on the positions of these fighters. While I've seen M23 rebels with drones, I've seen them with drones. I'm going to show you some images right now. I've seen them with some drones, surveillance drones, so they know the positions of the Kenyans and the Congolese army. And that's why they're able to make these kind of moves. Okay, here we are at the Goma International Airport. This is where the, the lead action is happening or the intention of the M23 to come to this city. And I, I assume that's where the base and the control center for the Congolese army and the Kenyan soldiers is for this region. Now let's look at the regions that the M23 had left. Uh, so this highway, this is a highway here, and this side is the Rwandan border. So as you can see, this side on the right is Rwanda, on the left is Congo, and the south we have Lake Kivu. Kibumba is here. This is that position they had given up. The second other position they had given up was Lumangabo, here. And the camp, the barracks, this is the barracks, right? And as you can see, this is Mount Niragongo, and this other side is uh, Mikeno Mountain. This is a forested area, as you can see. And they had taken a town here, and now from Goma, all the way north to Kibumba to Lumagangabo here. This side is the Masisi region, as you can see. And there's the town of Kichanga here. And that's where the M23 had taken over that town, this town here. Back in 2012, when M23 took Goma, this town, they had started again with the same town, this town. And the Congolese army came with rockets and artillery and shelled this town. They almost raised it to the ground they burnt everything trying to drive out the m23 they, and there is a river here so today is the same thing almost the same scenario 10 years later 10 11 years later so goma this is the mountain niragongo kichanga so when the, M2, the congolese army went north to try to take back this town the m23 went around them and there are maybe around this area, Shungo, Mihanga, this area. That that's where they are at the moment. And they are coming south to take Goma. That is what is happening. There was another detachment of the M23 here, within this mountain, vicinity of Mount Niragongo. And they are also coming south. The helicopter that was sent was shot around Kibati, or this area here. It was trying to do the surveillance, and the, it came under fire at this location. So that's what happened, and that is what I'm trying to report.